Hi, this is Teacher Sam. Welcome to Practical Research. Today, we are going to talk about on how to write the scope and the limitation of the study. Are you ready? Let's go! What is the scope and the limitation of the study? It is a part of the research paper that tells the readers the coverage and the boundaries of your study. In this part of the research paper, the researchers describes what are the coverage of the study in terms of concept, number of the participants in the study, the place where the study to be conducted, as well as the timeline when the study was conducted. It also discusses the specific things that you will not deal within the study. Maybe some of you would want to ask if there are any formats in writing it. The answer is none. But you have to make sure that the following should be seen in your scope and the limitation of the study. These are the seven basic elements that you must include in writing the scope and the limitation of your study. So you may interchange these seven as long as your scope and the limitation sounds good to your readers. So number one is topic. Two, locale, the time frame, purpose of the study or the objective, the participants, and the methodology. How did you get your data or how did you come up with that result or how did you conduct the research study? So you may include that one. And the last one is the variables not included in your research study. Let us take a look and read the given examples of a scope and the limitation of the study. The main purpose of this study is to determine the factors leading to grade 11 students' low scores in general mathematics. The study considers the students' viewpoints in mathematics subjects and the reasons why they always have low score in general mathematics. The researchers limited the study to 50 male and female grade 11 students enrolled in the second semester of the school year 2020-2021 of Balukowihai National High School. Each of the respondents were interviewed through Messenger mobile application for the researchers get their point of views. The students selected came from different sections of grade 11 to prevent bias and get their objective perceptions. Only the grade 11 students were chosen to participate in the study because it is the only grade level in which general mathematics subject is being offered. So now... Let us find out if these seven basic elements are present in the given example of the scope and the limitation of the study. Let us first go to the topic. Do you think the topic is present in the given example? Yes! The topic in the given example is the factors leading to grade 11 students' slow scores in general mathematics. Now, let us move on to the locale. Do you think the locale is being discussed or being presented in the given example? Yes. The locale in the given example is Balukawihai National High School. And now, let us go on to the time frame. When was the study was conducted? Was it mentioned in the given example? Yes, the study was conducted in the second semester of the school year 2020 and 2021. How about the purpose of the study? Was it present in the given example? Yes, the main purpose of the study is to determine the factors leading to grade 11 students' low scores in general mathematics. Did the researchers mention who are the participants in the given example? Yes. The participants in the given examples are the grade 11 students who were enrolled in the second semester of the school year 2020 and 2021. How about the methodology used by the researchers? Was it mentioned in the given example? Yes. 
each of the respondents were interviewed through Messenger mobile application for the researchers to get their point of views. The last but not the least, the variables not included in the study. Was it discussed by the researchers in the given example? Yes. The researchers mentioned that only the grade 11 students were chosen to participate in the study because it is the only grade level in which general mathematics subject is being offered. Before I end this video lesson, I want you to always remember the seven basic elements in writing the scope and the limitation of your study. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from me today. Goodbye!